elected officials to maul new security measures. This is always happening in Mexico and South America. Um, one of the only nuclear disasters to ever happen in the Southern Hemisphere happened uh, due to proxy, I should say, by the Brazilian mess. And how scrappers had broken in well, they didn't break in. They, had, they were scrapping um, materials from a hospital or some kind of cancer center, and got cesium all over the all over the area. Um, look up Brazil nuclear disaster. A little girl was eating the blue glowing sandwich. She was sprinkling the cesium on her food. They had to bury her in a lead lined coffin. People were protesting it. Um, ISIS has an established base in Mexico. It's being uh, protected by the drug lords there. It's been reported on in Infowars, and Drudge, and many other places. They would love to get their hands on this. Well, guess how easy it is to do so. The Interior Ministry issued an alert in five southern and eastern states late Wednesday, two days after a toolbox-sized container carrying a radium-92 source, which snatched from the truck in a residential parking lot in Cardenas, Tabasco State. Where you think, how did they do that? There must have been guards. Officials suspect that, like the three other cases since 2013, so that they obviously haven't learned, the thieves were not aware of what they were stealing. It was a potentially deadly radioactive device. Unless, of course, it's the uh, one of the millions of drug gangs there that would like to use it as a weapon, or of course ISIS, because we all know how friendly ISIS is. Each time that one of these units have disappeared from the hands of companies in charge of them, we have recovered them with the help of the population. Lucky them. Uh, Louis Felipe Puente, the National Civil Protection Coordinator, told Miliano Television. Puente urged ordinary Mexicans to notify the authorities right away if they find the material, which is used for industrial radiography to check welding seams and to stay away from it. In other words, they're X-raying the uh, support beams on things to make sure that there's no internal stress that's going to cause them to give way and kill somebody. The metallic 50 by 30 centimeter container has a trifoil radiation symbol printed in yellow on the yellow plate in the warning of caution radioactive material. Oh great, now ISIS knows exactly what they have. The man-made radioactive element can cause burns, radiation sickness, and permanent injuries if somebody comes in contact with it for minutes or hours. It is fatal if exposed to your last for hours or days. The theft was reported by the company Garantia Radiographica e Ingrinia on Monday, who should be barred from ever being allowed to have this stuff hauled or moved ever again. Safe in the container, an official at Mexico's National Nuclear Security and Safety Commission told AFP, the thing container was, among other things, that were snatched from inside the truck, which was in a residential parking lot late at night. The thieves left the vehicle and stole a second truck, said Christian Romero, the commission's deputy director for radiological emergencies. When they find these people, they should have to do 10 years. Thieves are not realizing what they're stealing. I bet they'd realize what 10 years was, Romero said, referring to the past similar cases. He stressed that the special tools are needed to open the box. Yeah, like an ISIS bomb. As long as it remains inside the container, there is no risk to anybody at all, Romero said, adding that the source is two centimeters long and half a centimeter wide. So, you know, if ISIS can safely carry it to the bomb site and blow it up, they'll be gone by the time anybody's harmed. Asked why there is no requirement for private or government security to accompany such material, Romero said it's not considered dangerous enough as long as it's inside the container. So we protect money being hauled, but we don't protect radiological materials that somebody could steal and make into a bomb. He added that it's too expensive for companies to provide security for such commonly used materials across the country. Then they should be barred from hauling in and the rules need changed, you stupid bastard. He added that we are looking for a way to put more restrictions on the requirements for people requesting to have this type of source. No, why don't you just put more restrictions on how it's taken and carried? Security forces do accompany more dangerous radioactive substances when they need to be transported, he said. Yeah, you think, Sparky? Shazam! Past thefts. In December of 2013, see, 
Thieves took a truck containing cancer treating medical device with highly radioactive cobalt 60 near Mexico City. C. Authorities arrested and hospitalized five suspects in that case. After recovering the potentially lethal material, which the thieves intended to sell as scrap metal, they all survived. So much for Darwinism. See? That theft prompted the Internal Atomic Energy Agency to issue an alert for extremely dangerous material while the U.S. officials kept tabs on the situation. More recently, in February, so they're learning at a rapid pace here, authorities recovered in central Mexico three stolen trucks transporting radio material, radioactive material for industrial use. And a similar accident took place in 2014. It didn't cause any harm to the population, thankfully. So basically, if you have your ISIS camp in Mexico, it is unbelievably easy to steal as much radiological poison as you would like because it's more important to keep our money supply safe in the interest of big bankers than it is to actually make sure that thieves and terrorists don't get their hands on radioactive poison. Friends, you're listening to The Correct Views. I hope you've liked your massive Fukushima update. Uh, brought to you here, low def and high def by Change Transportation. If you are within like a 50 mile radius of uh, Canton, Ohio, call Change Transportation and ask him to price match uh, the cab you're going to take and you'll get a much cheaper ride for him. Friends, thanks for listening. You can support the show by donating at The Correct Views at Hotmail.com like Angela did, which is why we're going to have graphics back soon. Thank you, friends, for listening. Good night, and God bless.